Hi, my name is Brian John Spencer. Today is August 14, 2016, and welcome to my latest vlog. Belfast, but in Bally Castle to the annual August Ancient Order of Hibernians Parade, which marks the Feast of Assumption and also this year, 2016, to mark the centenary of the Easter Rising. And today I'm going to give you a wee window into the march. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Great to see you old boy, right? clearly just here for a good day, must be about 80 and he's sitting on the wall just as I was when I was 8, watching the 12th of course, it's my first ever AOH. <laughs> presence as you can see two officers here and just a freshly departed van obviously this is a seaside town more rural parade so in line with sort of orange marches very family friendly and not many police but obviously a presence Right now, I'm in what passes for the field, which is the corner of the Coring Road, just in front of Dalriada Hospital, just outside uh, Bally Castle Town Centre, the Diamond. And assembling here, they will then soon leave, walking down the Coring Road and down to the Diamond. There's approximately 14 to 20 bands marching today, uh, led by guys in period costume from the 1916 Society. Uh, and then behind there's a whole array, uh, there's a whole array of bands from pipe to the usual drum to almost a sort of like green version of the Blood and Thunder. If you close your eyes, you could think it was the 12th today. Uh, the nature and manner so far is positive and upbeat, though a bit like the 12th, it has that sort of harsh, hard-edged aspect of possible hard drinking bars sort of overflowing and smart off in hand so it's there's real parallels there between the two so I'll check out now and call in later Acoustically, you could think this is a 12th, and visually, you could also, if you sort of squinted, because it's the same banners, it's the same sashes, just different colour. But already, for someone who's more versed in these habits and customs, I can tell you this is definitely a rural parade, not as hard edged as the city parades that I've been to, but also, it's not as well organised, it's not just as lush and efficient. You know, there's guys sitting kind of getting their banners together and putting their sashes on while these guys are marching after having started and then stopped and now they started so no real update March to the Diamond, which is this sort of town square in Valley Castle, still in the Colerain Road. Then what happens is they march out through Valley Castle town centre and then take a right after about 100 300 metres into the sports pitches where they'll stop, 
do what they do in Belfast, uh, eat, chat, and then a few speeches. Then they gear up again and hit the road and march back to the starting point. See you later. halfway stage which is the diamond they're now continuing to walk up the Corain Road up and down a lip just there and down towards the field which is the end of the first leg they then as I said earlier take all their gear off chill out listen to a few speeches maybe drink and have some refreshments the weather is really nice it's good the day. Some people were mentioning that I said rowdy earlier. Maybe that wasn't the exact choice of word I was looking for, but there's certainly a sense of people out for a good time and you know glasses are being smashed, you know, just through you know enthusiasm for the drink, you know, drink is in hand, the pubs are overflowing, so rowdy wasn't a word, maybe just a bit, you know, hard edge and an aspect of hard drinking at it. I'll sign in later. Okay, the information wasn't altogether clear, so I thought they were finishing the first leg here, which they are, but they're actually going down to the front. This kind gentleman corrected me, thank you. Um, they're going down right down to the front here. Then they kind of do like a U-turn, where they walk past the marina a bit, and then they're going to march back up here, but people are mar marching still down the way, so it feels like there's going to be a collision in a second. So I'm still not 100% clear, but a little bit clearer so the first leg is now a little longer than I originally thought but they're nearly done and then I can only guess that once they're in the field with the first leg done then they march back to Dalriada Hospital so we'll go down to the front here and tune in later okay so this is how it works they turn in left they don't even go as far as the marina and then they do a right, then go down to the marina and then turn back on themselves. I'm 99% sure I understand how this works, but I'll update later. So I finally got to the bottom of this. So they start at Dalriad Hospital, walk down the Corain Road, take a left just after the sports pitches, walk through some residential area just here, and then walk down a road which you'll recognize which they then enter which is this the big hill at Ballycastle Marina and then the I'm just gonna speak to a friend here Arena and my first ever AOH parade is over. What I have to say about it, nothing bad. Family friendly, not impeccable, you know, rough and edgy around the edges, but a great day out, just like a 12th. The banners look like a 12th, except they have priests and popes on them and not reverence. Uh, they talk about our forefathers of the past and oppression and all the hardship they've had to endure. The drums sound the same. Uh, if you squint, they look the same. And if you close your eyes, they actually sound exactly the same. But fascinating day, hope you enjoyed it and check it out if you ever get the chance. And so the second leg began.
Dragons. 